In addition to hospitals, doctors, and nurses, there are a slew of other providers of care. For example, home health care agencies. There are about 12,000 in the country, and they provide services at home. If you keep a patient at home and want to give them antibiotics, or want to measure how they're doing, for example, on their weight, or whether they're taking their medications, you send a home health care uh, provider to the house. In addition, there are end-stage renal dialysis facilities, so patients who have kidney failure go and get dialyzed. There are nearly 6,000 of those in the country. There are ambulatory surgical uh, care centers where you get simple surgical procedures outside of a hospital. There are uh, freestanding imaging facilities where you can get an MRI or a CT scan and not get it in the hospital. In addition, there are hospices uh, in this country providing end-of-life care to patients. It's again an incredibly complicated system of getting care to patients. In addition to that, there are what are called manufacturers, pharmaceutical companies. We have to develop drugs. These big drug companies, Pfizer, Merck, GSK, Gilead, Novartis, Sanofi, they develop drugs in the laboratory, then they test them in animals, then they move on to human testing and apply to the FDA for approval to market their uh, drugs. They manufacture all the drugs we have in the country. Typically, they have very high profit margins. The average is somewhere between 14 and 15 percent profit per year, but the best performing ones actually make around 33 percent profit. A large portion of their profit, almost half, comes from the United States, even though the United States has only 310 million people and the rest of the world has billions of people. In addition to drug companies, there are device manufacturers. There are over 7,000 manufacturers in the country and they uh, consume about 4.5% of total healthcare expenditures. Some of them are big integrated companies like GE and Siemens. Some of them are very specific device manufacturers such as Medtronic that make heart uh, uh, pacemakers and other heart equipment uh, like stents or like valves. Uh, again, like uh, the drug manufacturers, they typically have very high profit margin on medical procedures. In addition to all of that, there are private regulators of the medical profession. There are the boards who test doctors, such as the American Board of Internal Medicine. There is the Joint Commission, which accredits hospitals. There is the National Committee on Quality Insurance, NCQA, which evaluates physician practices. The system is very, very complicated, but that's the kind of complication we need if we're going to get care to a patient who we suspect has a heart attack to evaluate them, to make sure that the hospitals and doctors treating them are treating them well, to make sure they have the drugs and the devices uh, to treat them, to make sure we can care for them at home if they need to be seen at home. The American healthcare system is incredibly complicated and to understand how to reform it, we really need to understand that complication and the complication of how each part is paid.